I hate to keep making videos on this topic, but it keeps just getting <laughs> worse in my opinion. I really don't like to talk about one topic too much, but I really needed to add the second part of Disaster Masters. So distributors sent an email to local game stores at 4.55 on Monday to tell owners that they had 11 days to order Ultimate Masters to put their numbers in, 11 days to figure out player interest, get pre-orders, consider stock numbers, etc. And today marks not even five full days to consider purchasing Ultimate Masters. And today, distributors, or at least one that I can confirm, called local game stores to tell them that they need their numbers in. They cut it from 11 days down to four. They were supposed to have until next freaking Friday. 11 days was an awfully short time to ask local game stores to figure out their numbers without knowing interest with the set and everything surrounding the set, but changing it to four days, what the heck? So I don't know if it's distributors specifically or Wizards of the Coast that is forcing stores to get their numbers in today, but what I'm assuming, and I have no confirmation besides my guessing, and my guessing usually isn't all that bad in these situations, is that Wizards of the Coast called distributors and said, you need your numbers in today. We don't care if you know stores' numbers. So distributors were scrambling to get ideas of numbers in their heads, and when distributors sent out the emails to local game stores last week, they didn't specify allotment either, which was interesting to a lot of people, which also points me towards the fact that it could just be Wizards of the Coast asking distributors for numbers like I said, because Wizards doesn't care if stores buy it. Wizards cares if they can push out product to a distributor. They don't care if it sits on their shelves in the warehouse as long as it's not their responsibility to get rid of. And if a situation like this was to happen where you couldn't get your allotment or a situation happened from your distributor, there was an ordering problems with numbers or deadlines, back in the day, <laughs> People could just go to Wizards Direct if they had a problem with their distributor because every store that could receive Wizards product had an automatic allotment as a backup source of product to say. Wizards of the Coast would even take the orders and say, well, we'll put in the orders, but because you ordered it late, you're going to get it late. You're not going to get it on release date. But don't forget, they got rid of that not long ago. They had gotten rid of Wizards Direct. Are distributors or wizards afraid of a leak before final numbers are due? And this kind of got me thinking, I wonder if this weekend there's going to be a quote-unquote leak of the rest of the set, and they needed to get orders in now before the rest of the cards are spoiled before stores or distributors can change their mind or turn their backs on the product. I just want to say I haven't really heard any rumors about this, but it just got me thinking, is there something that they're worried about in this point in time? I honestly, that was one of the main thoughts that kind of rang through my head when I heard about this. And last time a master set got spoiled early, cough, cough, iconic masters, the set sold really poorly. Not only because it was a bad set, but spoilers do affect hype if you believe it or not. People aren't excited, they're not gonna pre-order it, and if they pre-ordered a product and it turns out to be bad, it doesn't matter because they've already put their money down to pre-order so they can't change their mind. All I'm saying is that it's not okay to keep messing with local game store owners like this, especially for a higher priced premium product during the holiday season that 11 days turned out to be four days notice. See, when you say all of the circumstances together, you realize how bad it just sounds. But that's all I've got for you guys on this topic. I'm really hoping at this point it will fizzle down and we can just move on with the channel and put this master's disaster behind us. I'd like to just be talking about the spoilers for this product. I want to talk about the cards for the game itself, not the awful business practice behind the card game that we all love. I want to see a list of more awesome reprints. I want to see that this set is going to be good, but who knows if we'll get that at this point. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all again really soon. Hey there, thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. You should click that subscribe button and there are plenty of ways to show support to the channel such as following me on Twitter, joining the Dark Titans Discord server, or even chipping in on Patreon and becoming a Dark Titan yourself. I'll see you all in the next video.